the Joe Rogan experience. I was just telling the story of when you sent Ben and I to uh, the sensory deprivation tank, the float oh. tank in Venice, and um, with Crash. Crash, my man. Yeah, and I kind of went in, and Crash was basically like, look, I'm going to lock the doors, and you guys are like in here, you know, do your thing. And so I was in the tank, and I got to this point where I like started to panic, and I thought I was just starting to like, sort of go somewhere, and then I was like, "What if, what if Crash didn't leave open the air vent, and I'm gonna suffocate?" <laughs> and I started to like go for the door, Whoa. and then I got it in my eye, and I was like, "Ah!" Because it's so, <laughs> it's so water. Were you high? No. Really? I wasn't high. Maybe I'm not sure, <laughs> but I, I had Sounds I like I like me. really I really hit <laughs> so... a wall. And I was, maybe, you know, and you're like naked, and then, suspicious. and I, I ended up like going. I had to like jump out and go to the shower, and I was like, ah, <laughs> getting my eyes oh all my rinsed out, and I kind of sat there in a towel, like, <laughs> you know. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I failed my first float tank. You never get just <laughs> vents there. It's, there's air, plenty of air. They have but it I, set up. But I will Crash say, I through. went to a cryotherapy in Austin one of the last times I was there, and I loved it. It's great, right? You feel I, well, awesome. I I got I didn't last the three minutes. I did like two thirty before I started to panic. I think they're supposed to make you do two the first time. I, I did two thirty. That's your rebel. Suck my dick. Whoa. <laughs> 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 that might be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, That's gonna come back to haunt me. <laughs> um, well, I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I had a good... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Who was the first woman to say "suck my dick"? Was it? <laughs> Was it I Jane hope, Fonda? Oh, no, really? not Jane Fonda. Um, I was gonna say I hope I would hope it's like Sarah Jane. Silverman. Oh, GI Jane. Demi Moore. Oh, Demi yeah. Moore and GI Jane, right? Remember? She was a Navy SEAL. She's like, suck my dick. Oh, and everyone's wow. like, damn. damn. I, I love it though. <laughs> I, I, I think it's incredible. It's like, whoa. All right. That yeah. was the best a woman has ever said, suck my dick. Now you're the queen. Wow. You yeah. Joe, took that spot. I cannot. You took that spot. That is a great you honor, took that sir. Spot. <laughs> She's like that spot because I believe I believe in you. She, well, I, she was I, just reading lines in the movie. I hate to, I hate to say this. Back back in the dead. honey honey days, and I you know I did have a nickname and it was suck my dick Sue's because I, I would say it a little too often. Uh, it's like a reflex. But it's a cool thing that a girl can say even though she doesn't have a dick and everybody thinks it's hilarious. Like no it's one fun. gets offended if oh, a girl if a girl's like suck. My I don't dick. want to offend anybody. Like if you're offended, if you're a guy, you're like that is outrageous. Like you're off the team. How dare you. Yeah, what guy would be offended by yeah. a woman like you saying "suck my dick"? We would think. No. And, and this is where I good... get the "me too" from you guys. From us? <laughs> Impossible. But that would be like a good indicator of like, like douchebaggishness. Sure. Someone was upset of you saying "suck my dick." Like, who are you? Like, what's going on? Yeah. Here? Well, that's the climate we're in, which is kind of scary. But I don't think that way, though. It's not that way because that would require men to be upset at a woman for saying something like "suck my dick." That yeah. hasn't gotten that crazy yet. I hope not. The only way it could ever is we're retaliatory. There, I don't think so either. Yeah, but there's a lot of bitches amongst us. Yeah. There's a lot of bitches amongst us. It could go bad. We could hit the rocks and then have I, to bounce back. You know what? We need, but we need to, to conquer those inner bitches. There's and, a lot of uh, people that are just not capable of getting up. They can't. Yeah. There's going to be no movement. Agreed. Boom. They're going to hit that wall. There's some, some guys. Look, there's a, for sure a lot of men who would try to claim that way in that direction. Well, uh, let's hope that's not the case with this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, suck my dick, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mad at you. Appropriating a penis is a fucking horrendous injustice. You appropriated a penis. I'm pretty How sure I that? said that at one of my last <laughs> poker games. Appropriated a penis. I'm pretty sure I said that at uh, one of the last poker shoot. games I played and nobody laughed. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, well, you're fucking playing poker with a bunch of serious normies. Yeah. No. They're a bunch of normies. They can't handle it. It's okay. <laughs>